You won't believe what's wrong with this possum's rear end. I've got mammal expert Lisa Gatins here to help me work it out. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Case. Welcome to the show. We highlight the craziest pictures from North Carolina candid critters, a citizen science project where volunteers like you help run camera traps across the state. And today I've got mammal expert from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, Lisa Gatins, here to help me figure out what's going on in this picture. Welcome, Lisa. Thanks. Glad so, to be here. So let's look at this picture here. It's obviously a possum, but something's really wrong with this picture. Oh, I remember when we first saw this picture, we were just kind of surprised and a little bit shocked. Like, what is going on with this possum's rear end? Right. So it definitely looks like it's like explosive diarrhea or some kind of tumor coming out of this. Out looks of like rear something end. bad happening. Yes. Something really bad for this possum. So what 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 were you able to figure out? Well, it really wasn't that hard. A closer look. All right, let's go closer. It we, still it wasn't that hard. It still <laughs> looks like some kind of explosive tumor to me. But what we came to realize was the possum is simply carrying a bunch of leaves, and what we thought was the tail sort of following uh, along behind. It's just a stick that happens to be in the picture, and so. Um, the possum has a prehensile tail. It can use it like an appendage, like we use our fingers to carry things. And so it's carrying this bunch of leaves. This picture was captured in September, and so it's probably insulating its nest in a den tree somewhere All with right. this bunch so, of leaves. So it, it, it's, it's not having some kind of massive digestive problem. It's actually just carrying a pillow to bed or something right. like that. That's right. Okay. And so uh, do possums have this tail just to carry things around? No, they don't. As a matter of fact, they're really good climbers. They use the tails to hang from limbs. Okay. Um, they really do use them like another appendage, and they can hang from a limb and help them reach fruit, you know, to forage in a tree. So what do they um, eat? Uh, anything. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely anything. Um, they are so opportunistic and um, omnivores. Anything they come across, a lot of carrion fruits, um, plant matter, and so do you, do you see a lot of camera trap pictures of possums? We do see a fair number of possums. They're very common across the state and in a, a wide variety of habitats. And even backyards. That's right. I've seen them in my yard in Raleigh. Yes. <laughs> you seem like a real possum fan. Why I, do you like possums so much? I, I do like possums. I think they're underappreciated. First of all, I think they're attractive. And right. I know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I think possums are cute. Fair enough. Um, they eat a lot of ticks. This is something that's been given some attention lately. Okay. Um, and they also are one of the few mammals that can prey on venomous snakes without any fear. They're not affected by the venom. And so, so they can a prey possum on... would eat a snake? That's right. Mm -hmm. And if it gets bit by a copperhead? It's not going to hurt it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So possums are a good animal to have in your backyard. I think so, yes. Wow, that's really cool. So you're saying this possum is basically bringing some extra bedding into its den. Do they sleep in holes or something like that? Yes, they will. They'll sleep in... Um, Cavities and trees, but also under buildings, um, in crawl spaces, and, and things like that. Um, so they need this extra insulation because they're not very cold tolerant. Oh. Now, the Virginia possum is our is the only native um, North American marsupial. In South America, there are a hundred or so. They're oh, wow. very very common um, and very much more diverse. We have the one, and cold seems to be the limiting factor for its distribution in North America. Well, Lisa, that is definitely the freakiest picture of a possum I have ever seen. Thanks so much for coming in and bringing your strange, strange picture. <laughs> and uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And remember, if you're in the state, be sure to go to the North Carolina Candor Critters website to sign up and join our Citizen Science Project where you can run a camera trap somewhere in the state and help us learn more about the animals. I'm Roland Kays. See wildlife. Do science.